Okay. Well, bread, a daily dietary staple for many Ghanaians, is finally succumbing to the pressures of escalating cost of flour and other baking products. Judith Awachitando explores the difficulties faced by bakers, traders and consumers alike in this report. It's a hub of bread making. Since time immemorial, in Sawam Adwejiri has been known primarily for its bread making. But with the rising cost of commodities on the market currently, we're here at a local bakery to find out how things are faring. The survival of the local bakery here in Adwejiri hangs in the balance. Years of baking passed on from generation to generation. Now, it is uncertain whether this business will survive the seizing of soaring prices. It's this same business that took care of our children's education. But now, we don't make any profit. It's six o'clock in the morning, and workers here are going about their usual business. Only this time, things appear different. I think it's four million, Madrid three million, and some here fifty million. Sugar is 400 cities, margarine is 300, and flour is 1,500. We are suffering and don't make any profit. The one city loaf is no more, and the size of the two city one has been drastically reduced. Regular clients are unable to keep up with the trend. At first, we could make profits because the bread was big enough. But now, it's small and the baker blames it on the rising cost. The size of bread keeps reducing and we always fight with the baker. But are the rising commodity costs here in Ghana the only factor to blame? The answer is no. Actually, the problem traces all the way to foreign exporters, Russia and Ukraine. Together, they supply more than a quarter of the world's wheat. And yet, in terms of quantity, both countries export 30% of wheat across the globe. Clearly, the war between these two countries has fueled higher costs of wheat, which happens to be a major ingredient in bread making. That is an undeniable fact, especially here in Accra. Just like it in Sawam, the size of bread in Accra has reduced compared to its cost. Notable amongst them is the popular A1 bread. It is difficult, let me put it that way, because every day it's something you need for breakfast. In the middle of the day, people equally eat bread in the evening, so it's, it's difficult. A major strain on the pockets. The challenges are glaring for both consumers and traders. Something definitely needs to be done to salvage the situation. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.